Hello everyone, uh, my name is Noveen and today I'll be talking about my paper of policy evaluation for large action spaces via policy convolution. And this is joint work with awesome collaborators at Netflix and UC San Diego. I'll quickly get started with why, why do we need this sort of problem? So this is sort of the most, arguably most used estimator in off policy estimation. It's called inverse propensity scoring, or IPS for short. The good thing with IPS is it leads to unbiased off-policy value estimation of any policy. Uh, but the problem is it is commonly associated with high variance in estimation. I quickly show this with, a, with an example. So here, let's consider pi, which is the target policy we are evaluating, and mu, which is the login policy which we use to collect our data. And at the end, I plot the ratio of these two over all actions. And what, look, what literature tells us is that the high and the low propensity values, uh, propensity here being the ratio, really hurt IPS in terms of variance and, and in turn the mean, mean squared error. So how, how can we help? The key idea is to use some latent structure in the action space. Uh, in this example, I'm just showing one sort of latent structure, which is a, a tree, a hierarchical clustering in this case, in the case of movies for, for, for this example. And we just see that we can have some sort of semantic clubbing or grouping of these actions. So how do we use this structure to do off policy estimation? The idea is very simple. We can use this structure to convolve or smooth our logging and target policies and get the new propensity ratio. And using the same example as before, we see that the policies are much more smoother than before, which leads to a much smoother propensity ratio in the sense that there is a much lower maxima and a much higher minimum. So what this does is it leads to large variance reduction at the cost of a slight added bias. Quickly looking at our results, we see that we get orders of magnitude improvement in MSE for different kinds of base estimators. And we see that the improvement using policy convolution increases as the size of the action space increases. That's it. And for more details, I would recommend reading our paper.